translational research is research in which we're trying to take research in the laboratory setting and move it, translate it into the clinical setting. So we're trying to take our scientific and engineering advances and use them to improve patient outcomes in the clinic. Oncology stands for the treatment of cancers. So translational oncology is taking research to improve cancer patients' outcomes. In a nutshell, what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop technologies to help neurosurgeons remove tumors in the brain. When we operate on brain tumors, the difficulty for us is that the tumor is usually mixed in with normal brain, and you can't clearly tell the two apart grossly. We are always looking for ways to better differentiate this so that we can then remove as much of the tumor as possible without damaging the normal brain. This research that uh, Dr. Liu is doing will potentially give us the ability to tell tumor cells at, at the microscopic level and guide us in terms of where to remove the remnant tumor that we can't see by eye. So right now, neurosurgery is fairly subjective. There are technologies to help them, but it largely depends on the surgeon's ability to see differences between tumor and normal tissues, as well as to feel for differences. The surgeon would use this microscope, a handheld microscope, in conjunction with a topically applied contrast agent, basically a chemical that's sprayed into the tumor cavity. And that will allow them to see where the tumor cells are and to remove them much more accurately. Okay, so what we're looking at here is our tabletop microscope. It's called a dual axis confocal microscope. And the reason why we call it dual axis is because there's an illumination path and a separate collection path, which allows us to image tissues much more deeply in three dimensions than a conventional confocal microscope. So what this device allows us to do is to be able to optically section through tissues. In other words, we're able to visualize thin sections of tissue without having to cut it with a knife. We actually can use light to cut through the tissue and visualize it in three dimensions. Uh, what we're looking at is actually a live 3D rendering of um, the tissue we're imaging. The darkened background is the normal tissue without tumor, and the green and the um, reddish yellow show um, the cellular structure of tumor. So my role in the lab has been more hardware size, so it's been focused more on the actual microscope development and microscope building. So for example, the miniature device, um, I was responsible for taking it apart and making new adjustments to it to improve it for brain surgery. So what we have here is a prototype of a miniature microscope that takes everything that was on our tabletop system and shrinks it down into a handheld device that the surgeons could potentially use for neurosurgery. So this device could be held by the surgeon or held with a robotic arm and visualize the cells that have been labeled with a contrast agent that lights them up. So we hope that this can improve their ability to remove the tumors very accurately. With many primary brain tumor, the data is what, you know is well documented that the more tumor we get out, the better it does for the patient, not just in terms of longevity, but functioning as well. Um, many of these tumors, while surgery itself is not curative without the need for adjuvant chemo and radiation therapy, the more we get out, the, the better the patient does and the better for the medical neuro-oncologist to treat afterwards. So I see that this technique here will give us the potential ability to resect as much tumor as possible while preserving the patient's normal function. So I think the next step for us is really to try to push these technologies further towards the clinic. We're trying to miniaturize the microscope so that it's a convenient form factor for surgeons to use in the operating room. And we're also trying to test these contrast agents in preclinical models as well as ultimately in human patients.